Let's have a look at the mysteries of straightening an image. So let's open an image. I'll import a document. And this is the one we want right there. Now that will bring it in and you can see, let me just reduce that a little bit in size that somewhere along the line, probably when I've been walking the dog, I've snapped the photograph of the sun coming up over the uh, the North Sea there, but at a bit of an angle. Probably haven't had my camera really held correctly, but I've ended up with the whole lot on a bit of a squonk. Now, it's really easy to fix that. See, if you look at that, then we've got the image outlined like that, which is which is great. But what we want to do is a very simple exercise here. You tap on the crop tool, which we don't want to do by the way, but the crop tool is the only way of showing, you can see the toolbar there, I've got the um, Apple Pencil pressed on the question mark down the bottom right hand corner. Now you can see it says at the top unconstrained thirds, a rewind button and the straighten button and there they are showing in the middle of the screen what all of those little icons mean so if I if I let the question mark go they go but now I know where the straighten button is now you just hold that don't tap it too lightly or it won't work but if you just give it a long tap if you like it doesn't seem to change but it changes the border around the image so that those um, crosshatch lines go. Now what we've got to do here is select the horizon line, put your pencil on that and draw it out. You can go up and down, doesn't matter, but you can see I've got it exactly in line with the horizon there. That's about as good as I'm going to get it, I think. Just let it go and the image straightens. Now you can see that's pretty straight because the lines from the the um, from the crop tool are back again, and you can see that they divide the screen into three thirds, and the top third is very much in line with the horizon out in the mist, the actual horizon between the ocean and the sky. That's also straightened up the land horizon, so I'm back on the path squarely. Now, if you do anything to this now, touch the screen or try and alter that, that will revert to what it was. So up the top here, you've got a tick and a cross. Just tap on the tick. And you can see it says apply. So it applies the straighten tool to that image. And now, of course, you've got a nice straight image, which is just what you want. Now, that's great for straightening photos that you're casually walking around doing. I mean, you might be a real estate agent photographing houses. So let's see what happens if you want to photograph a house. We'll go back to here and we'll open a document, import the document from the same place. Now there's an image of a house. Very important. Hmm, you can see me standing in the foreground there. Well, my shadow anyway. The world's greatest photographer. Not. But if we look at this carefully, you can see that down the front, where the front patio is, there's a, there's a concrete area there. And that doesn't look level. So maybe it's not. The whole house might be on a bit of a slope. But I don't think it is. So let's add some guidelines in here. Guides and settings. Let's put a horizontal and a vertical line in. Now the horizontal line you can see, let's just grab that, the horizontal line you can see is there. You can see I'm just moving it up, it's near the guttering on the roof now. On the right hand edge, the guttering is just about selected, but on the left hand edge it's down a bit. Down here on the ground, well that's quite different isn't it? You can see that where the concrete padding starts, it's lower on the left and higher on the right. Now you might want to straighten that, but be careful of your vertical because with buildings, the verticals really indicate the perspective. 
Now that vertical there is right on the bricks at the top and off a bit, well off quite a bit at the bottom. But on the house next door, the vertical is just about spot on. So if you move one, you're going to move the other. Let me show you what happens here. Now I've selected the crop tool. I've selected the straighten tool and we're going to draw a line along the edge of that concrete. There we go, that's pretty well on the edge of the concrete. And it's straightened up the concrete. So the front door looks, it's, looks to be, the image looks nice and straight on the ground. Let's just apply that. Now we've still got our guidelines on there. Select the move tool. Now you can see that that, that wall is a good way off. The downpipe is on the squonk a little bit. However, the one in the middle here, when you line it up with the door jam, it's just about level. So that vertical is fine. Could the whole house be on the squonk? Well, it could be because this house was put up around 1917, I think, 1917 or 1927. It's a very old house. Now we'll take that horizontal guide and go up to the roof and you can see that it's quite off. Now, if you're selling real estate, for example, and you want to um, use this image, you'd have to be quite careful with that because you may give the impression that the ground floor is nice and level, but the roof is at a heck of an angle. It's not immediately obvious because the perspective of the house is changing slightly because it's a 2D photo and I'm standing quite a good way down the front yard. And you can see that that front yard level down there appears to be, certainly appears to be level. The blue line you can see out here, that was the original photograph. You can see that there. There's the original. You'll notice that the original changes and it stays within the boundaries because if you move that, it will display the white area where the image has been moved. You can see that now. Let me just undo that so it goes back to where it was. However, that's one use of it. Let's, let's show you another use. And with this one, we'll take a new document, 4 by 6 Very good. There's our image there. Now let's see what we can do with a stock image. Let's find the Eiffel Tower. Now there's an image that couldn't be much more on the squonk. So let's tap that there. I'm on an iPad Mini by the way, so you might notice that I'm dragging up and down those those bars there. What I'm going to do is reduce the size of the image 10 by 12 make sure the lock is on just drag that down a little bit you can see it's coming in there oops we have white down the bottom so I'll just move that back up so it's there there we go now with this one I want to straighten the tower so that it's straight up and down. That's a very artistic shot and it looks very nice. But what I want is a straight up and down shot. So you go along to the crop tool, just as before. Hold down the straighten tool. Now you can see the centre tower there. The centre line 
Now if I draw down a centre line there, take it all the way down through the girders to that level there, I can even keep going to make sure it's exactly how I want it. That's straight down the girders and through all the cross pieces, dead centre. And there it straightens it. The whole image gets straightened, by the way, which is perfect. Now you can see in the corners, white is showing. But that's OK. We'll just tap Apply, because if you touch the image, it will unstraighten it. It's a one-off one tool. There we go. There's our image. Let's select that image. Oh, look, you can move that image around. There you go. That's how easy it is. Now you can bring that image in. You can adjust that image in there. But you'll notice it's very difficult to get that. But it is a straightened up version of the original image. Now you, I'm sure you could play around with that and make it as nice as you like. There we go. Now we've done the horizon one, landscape ones, it lends itself to beautifully. Um, architectural ones like houses for real estate, mm, yeah, it's interesting. And if you want to uh, get some really different shots, then you've got straightening things like the Eiffel Tower that may have been taken on a lean. OK, I'll leave this short exercise with you for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas. Remember the straighten tool. It's there to use. And on your daily photography, it can be a real bonus to straighten up those tricky shots just as you're about to snap a shot and the dog tugs on the rope. Ah, and you won't get it again because the birds fly and the ship sailed, the aeroplane's gone over. Just take a moment, take your breath when you get home, load it into Affinity Photo and straighten the image. Perfect shot. And you, within painting, you can even edit out the dog if you're that unhappy with it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.